Hello everyone, and welcome back to another one of my old-fashioned comparison videos. And I've been wanting to do this for a while now. This is a comparison video between the two wood, um, two of the three now available wood choices for the ZMF Icon. And on the right you have my personal pair of the ZMF Icon in Padok wood. And on the left you have a ZMF Icon that I borrowed, which is cherry wood. So, first of all, on the ZMF website, they basically say, yes, there might be a few sonic differences between the woods, you know, tone wood and all that, but just basically just get whatever looks better to you. And I think this is a smart approach, personally, because I don't think Zach will go too much into it, but they do make a bit of a difference. Um, it's still very slight, so don't think that you've made the wrong choice when you buy your own specific. If you're watching this with an icon, don't second guess your choice. They're not that vastly different but I've noticed the more I've gone up in my mm, audio chain I found them to be quite distinct in, a, in a, some ways but still of course just take this all with a grain of salt so let's start with the weight the paddock weighs more than the cherry by about I think on average 50 grams I would say my paddock icon is actually a bit heavier than the usual ones I believe this is an early version and I think he shaved down the cups after this. I'm not sure if that's true or not. But mine weighs about 620 grams. Whereas I've been seeing them for about 580 these days. So, But this one is around 550-ish. Um, so this is significantly less weighty than that. And of course, if you look at the design pretty much the same these are both using the same icon pads very plush and very nice um, this cherry icon if you have gone if you are an old time subscriber if you watch my old videos I specifically remember when I re compared the ZMF Ori's they used to be called Omni's I compared a cherry Ori to a Cocobolo Ori and I found there to be differences. It's pretty much the same over here. The first thing I like to talk about is just the overall sound. To sum it up, the cherry icon has a bit more bloom to the sound. It's more laid back in listening experience. It's not as hard hitting, in my opinion, as the Padaka icon, which is more linear in its ascent from bass to treble it has more sub bass definitely and a bit more sound stage to my ears so which one do i prefer i don't really prefer either and actually it depends on my mood to be honest but overall if i had to choose one i'm pretty quite happy with my choice of the padok one but the cherry one does get my attention sometimes because there are some times where if I have like a slight migraine or something, I don't want to listen to the Padok icon because it's very dynamic. The Cherry one comes in handy because it's just a little more smooth. Now what this smoothness means is, first of all, I would consider the Cherry icon a sort of bridge between the Atticus and the icon, the Padok icon. Because there's a bit of bloom in the mid-bass that the Padok icon lacks compared to the Cherry icon. The first thing is that the sub bass does not reach as low as the Padok icon and it doesn't have as much slam to it as the Padok icon does. It's also very... the mid bass has a bit of a bump to it and it has, I guess I would say a lusher, lower mid range, if that's the word I'd use, because it's kind of... It's, it does have a little bit of a bloom to it. Like my cherry Ori back in the day was quite similar in this regard. And I'm pretty sure at this point it has to do with the cherry wood, which is softer. And um, yeah, it has less decay in the bass than the Padok Icon. Now what this means is if you're listening to a, like a really fast song, like a really fast metal song, double kick drums are not going to decay quite as fast as you would on a harder wood like the Padok Icon, even the Cam 4 that I've heard. The Cherry Wood is a bit slower in that regard. But it's more, the bloom is definitely going to be to somebody's taste because it really it gives this kind of romantic edge to the sound. 
where the Padauk icon can sound a little bit too neutral at times, a little bit too, um, uh, a little bit too linear, I guess. Yeah. So the Cherry Icon's lower mid range is definitely warmer. It overall is just a warmer can than the Padauk icon. I do also think that the Cherry Icon's ability in the uh, upper mid range. Now the the icon has a very forward upper mid range, both all ver all versions basically. But some people are sensitive to the 5k region, which I would call lower trouble, I guess. And I do un I do think that the cherry icon has a bit less of a bump up there than the padauk icon because sometimes I do hear it quite quite distinctly with the padauk icon when I with the cherry icon, it just feels a little muted in that regard. So it's a bit, it's a bit less of a harsh experience with certain because the icon is very good with different um, testing out different amps. With certain amps, which might have a bit of a glare, the cherry icon does better to mask that a bit. Whereas the padauk icon just lays it bare and can get can hurt a little bit if you're really sensitive to that 5k peak. Also. The sound stage on the Cherry Icon, I'm not sure how this happened, like, don't ask me, but the, the sound stage of the Cherry Icon is slightly more narrow than on the Padauk Icon. The Padauk Icon also has, like I said, it has the deep sub bass rumble that the Cherry Icon just slightly has a bit more roll off in that regard. The Padauk Icon seems to also extend further into the treble than the Cherry Icon, which leads the Cherry Icon to sound very much like an older ZMF headphone. Uh, standard affair, whereas the Padauk icon kind of like takes it a step further. And when I reviewed the Padauk icon, I took note of that, and I thought all icons would sound just like that. But when I heard the Cherry icon again, well, not again, but for the first time, I thought, hmm, this is actually definitely more similar to the Ori that I remember, a little bit more similar to the Atticus, although not nearly as rolled off in the trouble in that regard. And um, still, it's a, it's a smoother experience than the Padauk icon. Now, the Padauk icon I I prefer with classical music, classic rock music, uh, jazz music. Definitely, it's very nice with the cymbals and all the the snare rattles and all that. The Cherry icon I prefer more as an all rounder. I could see myself listening to trashy pop music on this that I wouldn't really want to listen to on the Padauk icon because it can get a little too shrill. Especially if it's really badly mastered, like definitely, because this is a revealing headphone. I find it to be more pleasing to listen to electro pop and stuff like that with the cherry icon. It definitely is a little bit more laid back. Now, if you are somebody who's coming from an Odyssey experience, you want to try a ZMF headphones, I would recommend you check out the cherry icon if you are at a meet, if you have someone um, nearby who has one, because. Hmm. Once again, I have to reiterate, Zach will probably not go into this much detail with the differences because he, I, I can understand as somebody who runs a business, you don't want your customers to feel like they made the wrong choice. And I'm not telling you, once again, I'm not telling you that you've made the wrong choice when you decided to pick either one of these or even the Camp 4 version, which I think is a kind of like a hybrid of the two. Don't think you made the wrong choice. These are both very nice iterations of the same great headphone but yeah you're definitely gonna have a few differences especially on very resolving gear now ultimately besides the weight and the sound looks wise i personally prefer the padauk icons very nice reddish brown tint um the aged cherry this is quite aged now this is about almost a year old this headphone it also looks quite nice now one of the things about the wood difference is making a difference. Now, I'm not sure if this is entirely true, but I have been told that with open headphones, the wood differences don't make as much of a difference than with closed headphones because the reflections off the cups. So I'm very hesitant to review this so far. This is a prototype of the ZMF Otter, which is their new open back headphone. And I've had this for over a month now, but I haven't reviewed it because this is basically a very early prototype made of Padauk, which it's not coming in. This is coming for starters in Teak and Blackwood. And this is made of Padauk. This is basically 
I think Zach took an icon and turned it into an altar, or he just had leftover icon parts. Because you see, the headband is going to be different on the altar as well. Leftover icon parts, sorry. It even has the E which, for icon instead of the lowercase a for the auteur. New pads though, so very nice. So I'm not very comfortable reviewing this as it is because the wood differences definitely are there. This isn't a very standardized product like the like the Mr. Speaker's Eon or something because you know they all look the same. These are different, yeah, definitely. Once again, you can't go wrong with the other one if you're interested in these headphones. I would personally prefer the Padok icon, but there are times where I want to choose the Cherry icon. A little bit more looser, a little bit more, a little less resolving, definitely. The Padok icon, I would actually say, is more resolving. Um, like I said, it's better to me with jazz and classical music. But this is a very nice old rounder, a little bit more of a smoother tone. I did say it's a little bit more in the middle of the Atticus and the Icon. Like if the Atticus were on this table, it would be on the far left. Atticus, then a great leap forward and you get yourself the Cherry Icon, then a slight more leap forward and you get yourself the Padok Icon. But yeah, they're both very nice headphones and that has been my brief comparison and I will see you next time. Cheers!